Hi, this is problem number 64 from chapter two. This is the one where we are talking about a basketball player who jumps straight up into the air and then comes down. And we are trying to solve for how long that player is in the air at the, for the top 15 centimeters of their jump and then the bottom 15 centimeters of their jump. And so what I would like to do first is I want to draw a sketch of the situation. And so I'm gonna draw position versus time. So I'll put Y since they're traveling up and down and then here's time. And so this, of course, is projectile in motion. Even though we're not traveling in the X direction, we're just going up and down in the Y, we know this projectile in motion, which is important because we recognize that there's symmetry, meaning that what is happening on the first half when the player is traveling up is uh, equal and opposite to what's happening on the second half. So it's the same amount of time. The velocities are all positive here and the same magnitudes as are going down, but negative on the way down. So we're told that they jump 76 centimeters vertically. So at the very top, we are at 0.76 meters. And if we are first concerned with the top 15 centimeters of the jump, then that is from 0.61 meters up to 0.76 meters. And so what I wanna do, I happen to know the velocity at the very top. The velocity at the top is going to equal zero meters per second because we come to a stop as we change directions. And so what I want to do is I want to solve for the amount of time that it's going to take to go from the top to 0.61 meters right here. And the reason why I do that is because I don't know the velocity here and I don't know the velocity here, but I have an equation that just has initial velocity. So if I just use half of this, then I can assume that my initial velocity is zero right here at the top. So if this is my initial, that's my final. That means my x finally is 0.61 meters. My x not my initial x is 0.76. And remember our v initial right here is zero. Plus one half and our acceleration is negative 9.8. Because we're considering up to be our positive direction. And then our time is what we're trying to solve for. So we have our t squared right there. So if we work this out mathematically, we're gonna find out that this time that we're solving for is 0.1749 seconds. However, this isn't quite the answer to part A because part A is wondering the top 15 centimeters of the jump, but it's talking about the ascent and the descent. And so right now we've only solved for this piece. So all we need to do is multiply this number by two, and then that will also include what happened on the symmetric side there. So 2t equals 0 0.350 seconds. And so this is the answer to part A, is 0 0.350 seconds. That's how long they're in the air for the top 15 centimeters of the jump. So now let's solve for the bottom 15 centimeters. Now there's, a, so here's my image again. Here's y versus t. There's a couple different ways to go about this. If you're looking at my homework solutions, you will see that I chose to do it in, in this way, which I'll discuss, but I have since realized that I think it's easier and more intuitive to solve it in a different way, so I'll show you that too. So the way that I do it on my homework solutions is I first recognize that in this bottom 15 centimeters, so from zero to 0.15, I don't know the velocity at the bottom, and I don't know the velocity 15 centimeters up. And so since I don't know any velocities at all, I, can, I can't plug it directly into this equation because I don't know the velocity. What I can do, however, is I could use the whole first half of my projectile, understanding that my velocity at the top is zero, and use that using our whole distance of 0.76 to solve for the velocity at the bottom, and then subsequently plug it into here and solve for our time. But I think a more intuitive way to approach it is to solve for the entire time that it would take to go from the top to the bottom, and then solve for the time that it would take to go from the top to 15 centimeters. And in that way, you can just subtract those two times and find out this little bit of time that we are curious about. So first, uh, this is, let's call this um, from top to bottom. And so if that's the case, 
then again, we're going to consider that this is our initial location. We're still just using half of our projectile motion so that we can use our information of it being uh, a velocity of zero at the top. And so my final x is going to be zero right here at the bottom. My initial x is right here, so 0.76 meters. My initial velocity, since we're just talking about it from the top there, is going to be zero. And then plus one half, my acceleration is still negative 9.8, oops, 9.8, t squared. So again, this is just how long it takes to go from here to here. And if I solve for this, I find out that my time is 0.3938 seconds. And that's not my answer, that's just how long it takes for the player to go from the top to the bottom. And so next, I will solve from the top to 15 centimeters. And so my final x is going to be 0.15. My initial x is still up here, 0.76. And then my initial velocity, again, is 0, plus 1 half negative 9.8 t squared. So this is from the top to here. So I'll put a little pink circle around it so we know that's what we're talking about. And so I find out that my time for this portion of it is going to be 0.3528 seconds. But really what I want to know is how long this time is. And so what I'll do is I'll take this blue time minus the pink time and we'll end up with this orange time, this bottom 15 seconds. So here we go, we have 0.3938 minus 0.3528, and then we end up with a time of 0.0409. So this is what I've labeled here, the orange time right there, so that's the bottom 15 seconds. However, it's only for half of the motion. We did not include this piece over here. And so what I wanna do is I wanna multiply that by two, so 2 times 0 0.0409 will give us the final answer of 0.082 seconds. And so we can see right here that if you compare that to the top 15 centimeters, that took 0 0.350 seconds. So that's why you have the hang time at the top, because you have a much longer amount of time when the player is at the top as compared to the bottom, which is a much shorter amount of time.